Hi guys, it's Lita. Um, so I know I already made like a gajillion videos today, uh, but I wanted to make one more uh, that's going to be a little bit more serious than usual, uh, that's addressing a couple of issues that I know I'm going to get a lot of crap for this video. But, you know, it's important to me, so I'm going to make it anyway. Um, one, I just want to say, if I, I find it really sad that when someone says, you know, I'm happy with myself, or when someone says, I love who I am, or when someone says, I love myself, it's automatically considered narcissism or self-centeredness or freaking being conceited. Um, you know, there's a fine line between being conceited and loving yourself. There's self-confidence, and then there's narcissism. And it's just really sad that if someone says, oh yeah, I love myself, they automatically get a bunch of shit for it because they love themselves and it's conceited all of a sudden. That leads to my next point. Um, a bunch of comments in my videos uh, that I don't usually read anymore because they're so negative is like, Lita, you're getting to be such a fat ass now. It's like, really? Like, okay, I'm totally happy with myself. It's my body. And when you call someone fat, or when you call someone ugly, it's gonna get to them. You know, I mean, luckily there are some stronger people than others, but for the weaker few, it hurts them a lot. And so, you know, just let people be who they are. Seriously, because, you know, when, I mean, I know I'm not fat. I'm curvy, yes I am, very. But that doesn't mean, like, I'm not aiming to be this stick-thin thing. That's not how I was made, and it's not how I'm gonna be, ever. You know, so it's just really unfortunate in my eyes that people can't accept people for who they are, because a lot of times they can't change that. They can't decide what they want to be. I mean, they can decide who they want to be to a certain extent, but if you go up to someone and say, hey, you are such a fat ass, it's like, ouch, you know, somewhere in there, even if you're some skinny little person and someone calls you a fat ass, it's gonna hurt a little bit. Girls, my girl viewers, I know that you guys can relate to this, because I'm sure it's happened to everybody, not just me, and it's, unfortunately, it's gonna keep happening to everybody. And also, one other thing, I was told that I was being called a slut a bunch because my dress thing in my outfit video was a little bit low cut in the front. Okay. One, I was trying to, like, cover myself up, and two, I have no boobs anyway, so there's no reason for me to want to flaunt them anyway. So, also, that was, like, the minor point of that. Um, calling someone a slut is also probably just as hurtful as being called fat or ugly, because that is such a, just, a pretty much terrible label to give anybody. Um... And pretty much, like, if there's someone wearing, like, a smaller amount of clothing, that does not mean that they're a slut. That means that they are, like, comfortable with their body, you know? And it's okay to show a little bit of skin. So when there's, like, a person on the street, anybody, if they're, like, wearing short shorts, if they're wearing a tube top, if they're wearing, you know, whatever, and you're like, hey, you're a slut, it's like, oh, thanks. You know, just because I have a good amount of self-confidence and I'm okay with showing off, you know, a little bit of skin, oh, okay, that makes me a slut. That's great. Mm -hmm. It's stupid. And, you know, just for, like, specifics for the video that I made today, like, <laughs> I don't know how some of you guys got slutty out of that. Because, I mean, I know it was, like going down a little bit, but still, that doesn't make me a slut. I mean, I have one boyfriend that I've been with for almost five months now, and, you know, that's it. And the boyfriend before that I was with for almost two years, never messed around with anybody else. I am not a slut, and that, like, half the girls out there who are considered sluts are not sluts. Probably over half, probably like 95% aren't. It's just like, seriously, I think... Everybody needs to have a little bit more respect for everybody else. That's what I think. Like, I mean, I know I'm going to get so much hate for this video. I am prepared for that. I'm going to stand up for what I believe in. And frankly, what I believe in is not, you know, 
criticizing other people for the way they look or the way they act. It's just who they are. There's also a fine line between constructive criticism and bullying. And a lot of times, people jump way over the line to bullying. Especially on the internet. It's just, I know that's the way the internet is, but I just felt like saying this because it is a really important topic to me that I've been wanting to get out for a really long time. And yeah, I know I sound really pissed. I'm not. But it's just something I'm really passionate about. Have respect for people, seriously, because people deserve respect no matter who they are. Just wanted to get that line across. Thank you. Alright, I have to go to school. So, I will see you guys later. I love you guys. Alright, goodbye. Have a great night. Bye.